Stella Massmart has announced that it has started a consultation process that could end in the closure of as many as 34 Dion Wired and Mass Cash stores affecting jobs of over 1,400 workers. For a little bit more on that, we're now joined on the line by Lucas Ramatloidu, who's the Secretariat Coordinator from the South African Commercial Catering and Allied Workers Union. Uh, Mr. Ramatloidu, thanks very much indeed for joining us. Um, this is not great news news for workers. Has it come as a shock, though? Uh, good afternoon, Peter, and uh, thanks for this opportunity, and good day to your listeners and viewers. Um, we cannot necessarily say um, it has come as a t totally as a shock, uh, based on how the company has been behaving of late. I must also say that uh, we got wind of this announcement when the media started communicating or contacting us for uh, our reaction to that. And um, this happening in the midst of a relationship that is supposed to be, I mean, the working relationship that is supposed to be cordial should um, send an indication of what type of, of a monster we're dealing with. I must indicate that uh, there is no truth in the fact that we are consulting with a company. In fact, just about three or four days ago, they sent some email um, message through one Prela Knight, who's um, the head of the employee relations in mass discounters, inviting us to a meeting. We must also indicate that the, the message was, was, on the one side it was very arrogant, on the other side it was very instructive. They were ex inviting us to a meeting at, at, at 8 o'clock this morning, and um, in closing of that email they said they trust that uh, we will be in attendance and thanking us in advance. So they invited us to such a meeting. They're calling it a critical business strategy meeting. And um, our national head of organizing and collective bargaining indicated that, that, that um, we, we will, if they're talking about some um, critical business strategy, then such meetings should involve the high-level leadership of the union and um, proposed a counter date of the 15th of January. Unfortunately, um, they persisted until um, he decided that, together with a few other comrades, just to go there, have a feel of what, what the company wants to say, what the agenda items are, which we had requested on the 9th. And instead of being favored with an agenda of what this critical business strategy meet, uh, meeting would be all about, the company has sprung a surprise and um, wanted to issue them with um, some notice of their intention to close doors. And um, at that point, they, uh, our team uh, refused to get ambushed because it was clearly an ambush on the part of the company. They refused and decided that they were not going to engage into any process that undermines the provisions of the Labor Relations Act and any legislation that governs industrial relations in this country. And oh. as a result, no consultation was initiated and no consultations has been engaged into by the union and mass at this point. All right, so you may not be happy with the uh, actions and the process that's been taken, but do you see uh, the figures uh, that uh, the group is producing and that uh, some of these stores perhaps are not making financial sense and that at some point uh, there was an inevitability that they would be closed? So you, you, you get fed what uh, the other side wants you to see. The company wants us to see a, a bleak picture, and obviously it should be a picture that helps it to advance its objectives and aims. Uh, it, is, it is not a, a far-fetched theory that uh, the companies want to, ma to maximize profit at, uh, with the most minimum expenditure that they can get. And part of uh, eradicating expenditure is always going to the wage bill and chopping it into into. Uh, very little, little compared to what it is at any given time. And the company, if, if really the company is not performing well, there is nothing wrong in a relationship that we have to bring us around the table and be open with us, take us into confidence and give us uh, the figures on a point-by-point -point basis and say this is where we are at, this is what we think would happen if we do not take this particular line of approach. And then we are entrusted with the responsibility of engaging and making an input on how best can we deal with that situation. And if it is a bad situation, we must contribute in turning it around. This, this, this perception and attitude of companies of taking workers and their unions for granted as if we do not know 
uh, and we don't have any role to play in contributing towards the well-being of the company is, is undermining uh, the, the incredible contribution that is being made by workers throughout, throughout uh, uh, the, the time in, 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 in all these companies. And must mark, um, cannot be saying that we are not performing well and they don't take us into, into confidence and want us to agree that, yes, the company is not doing well. They must oh. sit us around the table, present figures that are based on fact, and we must then make an input on how best do we believe that the situation can be turned around, if there's any turnaround to be made. All right, so without your input, this uh, is something you're going to fight and you're going to try and stop. Well, um, from, from, from where we stand, I think the very existence of, of, of a trade union um, is, is to ensure that we protect jobs. And then, after protecting jobs, we improve the lot of workers. No trade union worth its salt would simply say, well, the company says it's not performing well, there's nothing we can do. We will fight until we get to the bottom of everything and know exactly what informs whatever outcome there should be. If ultimately there would be, there would be a, a, a restructuring that leads to job losses, there must be absolute justification and there must be a cost-benefit, I mean, a, a benefit-loss analysis that says if we're not going to do one, two, three, we stand to lose far more than we could if we were to engage in, in interventions. So, yes, we would fight. Uh, but obviously we must be informed by reason and figures, and then we can then wage an approach that says how do we deal with the situation at hand. All right, Mr. Ramachlodi, we'll leave it there. Thanks very much indeed uh, for your thoughts and inputs. And of course, he's talking about the massive retrenchments that are, are poised to take place uh, at, at MassMart, particularly Dion Wired and Mass Cash stores, which could involve as many as 1,440 employees.